Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mikey18 from Mikey18.wordpress.com. I'm going to show you how to download Photoshop brushes and styles and all types of downloads that you may be able to use for your Photoshop and make great graphical, graphical design artworks. For the, fir for the first step, you might want to just go to your internet browser. I already have pulled one up, but I'm going to pull up another one for you and show you the steps that you need to take to download these things for your Photoshop. Okay, so you might want to go to Google. I use Google for everything. Now that you're on Google, type in Photoshop brushes. Now normally the first two or three might be the best ones for you. The ones I usually use is www.brusheasy or whatever.com. I'm going to show you the website right here. This is how it looks. Brusheasy. I guess that's how you want to say it. And it gives you all these cool designs that to download. And over here, you know, see? Stupid name, but cool brushes. <laughs> see, it placed it for artists to download. You know, Photoshop brushes, patterns, and all the cool stuff you want for your Photoshop design. Oh, by the way, if you ever known about this Arsenal, awesome design resource, they have a whole bunch of cool custom shapes for your Photoshop. Now, see all these designs and everything? I'm gonna show you how to download these. So, what we're gonna do is that this one, this one right here looks really cool. So, I'm gonna show you how to download it. Oh, let me try this one. I don't think I have this one. So, what you wanna do is click on it once, alright? And then this will come up. You may see a whole bunch of other stuff that looks really cool too that you might wanna check out. You can also check out those later. And you can go to patterns and all types of stuff, but for right now, I'm gonna show you how to download it. So, what you're gonna want to do, you can also preview and how sh it shows you what it looks like and everything. And down here, it shows you the description for how to download it and the whole but and the whole nine yards. So, here, this this is how you do it. You download it. This will come up. Do you want to save this file? This. This little icon right here is WinRAW. If you don't have it, just type in www.winraw.com and just download it from off the website. Um, I'll post a link up so y'all can directly download it if you don't have it. But if you don't, it doesn't matter as long as you have a, a zip. Uh, it will be in a zip file, so you just extract it to wherever you want on your desktop or wherever you want to place it. And. Uh, right now, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, what you're gonna do is you wanna save, and I save everything to my desktop. So, just save. Okay, it saves. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is close this, minimize your web page, and minimize this for you. Okay, here it is. You'll get this file here. It's gonna say floral brushes or whatever your name of the brushes you might have downloaded. Double click it, and it's gonna be. Hold on. It's gonna say file. Remember, if it's a brush to brush patterns or anything that you download that has to do with Photoshop brushes, make sure the file type is ABR. Anything else may not work. It may be a different file for different shapes for Photoshop, but for brushes, it should be ABR. So what you're gonna do is extract it, or just drag it on out of the folder and place it somewhere on your desktop. So let's close this out. Come over to your floor brushes, click it, and press copy. Now, see, everybody's Photoshop may be different from mine, I'm not sure. But what you want to do is go to your Photoshop, 
Don't click on Photoshop CS3. Now, don't click on Photoshop. Click on CS data. Now, click on where it says uh, um, percentage, amp data, percentage. Now, press, now double click on Adobe. Double click on Adobe Photoshop CS3. Double click on presets. Now, see, now it comes up with a whole bunch of folders that has to do with patterns and de other designs that have for Photoshop. What we're doing today is Photoshop brushes. So, double click on the brushes. And here are my brushes. Now, what you want to do, since you already copied it, you're going to want to paste it in. And there it is. Now, go to your Photoshop. Okay. Now, what you want to do is go to your brush tool. And come up here where there's a little arrow pointing down. Press that. And come up to this arrow here. And go all the way down to either preset manager or low brushes. I'm going to do low brushes for right now. You look for your brushes that you downloaded. Alright. Um, since it's already on your, your desktop, you can just click it and press load. But since we did it through, you can either do it both ways. From If it's still on the desktop, you can... Um, click it and then just press load but if you want to load it from out of your photoshop folder just double click on your photoshop folder photoshop cs3 cs data amp data adobe adobe photoshop cs3 presets brushes and come to where we I think it was called floor brushes click on it and press load now, I already have these brushes so I'm not gonna load it again but that's the process you would do to take and load up your new brushes and, and that's how you do it so after you do that to check out your new brushes you go want to go back to your brush tool and press this little arrow key going down and just look for your new brushes most likely they will all be all the way at the bottom and they should be here I would like y'all to thank you for watching my video this is Mikey18 please comment or if you need any help please email me at my email address my email address is bluemike155 at yahoo.com any questions or anything please post them and I'll sh I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can um like I said thank you again for watching and uh, and I'm out okay I'm sorry <laughs> I have to stop the video Sorry, that was aim. Okay, here it is. Okay, now I'm out. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye.